Lord. Uh, so just one quick note, you know, um, when uh, Roe versus Wade was overturned, we all celebrated. And I remember I was actually on pilgrimage uh, in France with Father Chris Alar when we heard the news. And we all prayed a rosary of thanksgiving on the bus together and all of that. But then, you know, uh, we were thinking about it. So, well, okay, what? So we said, when we really heard what the decision was, it goes back to the states. And so each state now is deciding for itself. And some states have passed draconian laws. Uh, Illinois, right, and, and uh, California uh, have passed laws to inscribe abortion in the Constitution, in their state constitutions. Well, Speaking with Father Casey, he said the same thing's happening here in Florida with your, uh, with that uh, Amendment 4, you know. Um, so here's the thing, here's the thing. Um, we can't, because well, what is abortion? It's the taking of an innocent life. And when I'm, I'm in discussions with people that disagree with me, and there are plenty, because as you know, I wear this everywhere, and when people see this, sometimes they get angry at me. They often think, well, you're a Trump supporter just by wearing this. I said, you do pray for I said, I pray for everybody. You know, I, 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 you know I, in fact, when I was in Australia this one time, this guy threatened to punch me in the face. No, Charbel was standing right next to me when the guy said that to me. That's how, that's where we are in our culture today. But we have to stand strong for those who can't stand for themselves. Abortion is murder. Abortion is child sacrifice. Abortion is satanic. I'm not making a judgment about the women who are having these abortions because they're, they're woke, they're lost, they, they're drinking the Kool-Aid of the culture. We need to pray for them. But what we need to do is help to create an environment where everyone is loved and accepted, no matter how they came into the world, no matter how uh, they were conceived. How about that instead? Create a world where every single person is loved and cherished and respected in the open arms of God. And guess what? We're those arms. Christ left us here. He ascended to the Father, but he left work for us to do. We're the face. We're the hands. We're the heart of Jesus. This culture doesn't see it. You have to understand, when someone meets you, they may be meeting Jesus for the very first time. So we have to stand strong and to vote this down. Don't be afraid, because I, I know, look, I know, I know, trust me, especially in this political climate, with this kind of election year we're having, and abortion is like number one on the agenda. I get that. And even just saying that word, I, you can see the tension build up in people. Oh, I don't want to talk about this. Oh, this is so hard. It is hard, but so was that. And Jesus says, if you are to be my disciples, you must deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow me. So, yeah, we're in a battle. We're in a battle for our faith. We're in the battle for the lives of these innocent children. We're in a battle against the forces of evil. And this culture needs to see us. This is not about politics. Abortion is about life and death. This is a life and death issue that has become politicized. It's not about politics. It's about what's right and what's just for everyone. So please do whatever you can. I know this parish is doing a lot, the diocese. But we cannot be afraid to stand strong and firm for all life, from the moment of conception to natural death. So I, I beseech you to pray, to fast. Prayer and fasting, powerful combination. 
Remember, in Mark's gospel, they tried to expel the demon from the guy, and they couldn't do it. The apostles, they couldn't do it. Jesus said, why? they said, Jesus, why couldn't we do this? They said, oh, yeah, that kind, the only way it could be cast out is prayer and fasting. So I implore you, all of you, please, to pray that this amendment does not pass. That Florida will not be the same as Oregon or California or Illinois. That children here have a chance for life. So I just want to thank you for, again, standing up and standing strong for our faith.